Dead Mount Death Play Episode 4 is Phantom Solitaire Tenya talking in a riddle that people who are very similar usually gather in the same place. Lee frees Takimi and goes off to fight Momoya. Momoya asks how Lee looks like that. Last Momomi heard of Lee, his sister cut off their legs and arms and has them still on display in her room. What? That's so extreme and like, what? They fight, so no answer is given on this. Misaki comes in and kicks Momoya. Higuru sees Misaki. He sees her when she should be dead. That is supernatural. Higuru was told if something beyond this world's law ever happened, to leave. Higuro does look like he will obey and leave. He just needs to figure out a way out without fighting. Momoya gets up and prepares to fight Misaki. He killed her once. He wants to fight her again with her new powers. Misaki makes a joke on how he looks and is preparing. Misaki jokes if he will seduce her. Momoya says no and they fight. Their fight is both of them using speed. With speed to attack, they have speed for defense. Momoya asks what is going on. He knows he hit Misaki. Lee also wants to know what is going on. Lee cannot hear Misaki's heartbeat. We go to the building where Sayo asks if Misaki is a vampire. She is vampire larva. Polka says a vampire larva is almost like a vampire, but not? Lee tries to fight but they are not fast nor strong enough. Misaki uses one of her new vampire powers to attack Momoya. He dodges it but gets injured. Takimi tells Misaki she should at least try to hide what she is. In the building, Polka tells Seiyo when Lee gets back he will tell him everything. We change scenes to the police department. Tenya tells the director again the riddle of people being similar all together. Tsubaki gets a phone call and is someone pretending to be Hosogiri. But after talking, Tatsubaki knows that this truly is Hosogiri. And Hosogiri from the pen got stuck into a pigeon and with Polka's magic is able to talk to Tsubaki. Hosogiri tells Tsubaki he died. Osogiri tells him about the murder and Tsubaki is shocked. Back to Tenya and the director. He tells Tenya he uses everyone. I have no idea actually what they are talking about. Back to the action, Misaki tells Lee a secret plan. Momoya goes to attack them, mainly Misaki. Misaki and Momoya fight. Misaki on purpose gets caught. This allows Momoya to lower his defense. Because of this, Misaki cuts herself in half with bats and Lee is able to attack Momoya. Momoya from this surprise attack is knocked out. Lee has no idea what is going on, but he is smart about it. In this situation, he is adapting and listening to Misaki. His questions will wait. He realized he cannot stop and question reality now. This is why Lee is smart. He knows exactly that he needs to just go with the flow and now is not the time to figure out what is going on in reality. He will figure out the truth like he wants afterwards. Takumi tells them to get Higuru. Misaki says he left as soon as she got there. He escaped. Takumi did not realize that. He forgot to even check if he was still there, which is what Higuru wanted. Higuru is happy Momoya drew everyone's attention and it let him escape. He calls someone to report what happened. It is hinted that the person he is trying to report to works at the police station. We stay at the police station. Osugiri and Tsubaki are still talking. They say their goodbyes. Tsubaki gets another call and thinks it is Osugiri who forgot to tell him something. It is Solitary Tenya. Tenya tells Tsubaki he knows he just got done talking to Hosogiri, which I would really love to know how he knows that. Tsubaki is unsure if he should trust Solitaire Tenya. For now, he will think about it. Higuru calls the person he reports to again because they did not answer the first time. It is shown in scenes that it is the detective from earlier. Tsubaki and Arce walk in the hall and at a door over here, this conversation. When they open the door, it is actually revealed it could be someone else Higuru reports to. Ending of episode 4 is Amina scenes, with one being a sneak peek on us meeting Momoya's older sister. And if we do meet Momoya's older sister, that's definitely going to be a rematch between her and Lee, and maybe we'll figure out what happened to Lee losing all of their limbs, but then still being able to walk around. Because I don't think Lee is like Full Metal Alchemist, where all of his body parts now are metal. I mean, I, I feel like something else happens there. But next episode 2, Lee and Polka will talk 
and Polka will tell him everything that's been going on. He'll tell him the truth. It's up to Lee to believe it or not. But we are still getting introduced to new characters. There's just so many characters in this anime, and there's so much plot going on. I mean, this is a very good anime, but it is also very easy to get lost in what is going on. The next episode, I have no idea if it's going to be action-packed like this episode. I feel like it's going to be maybe like one 10-second scene of action. It's probably going to be a lot of talking again because we just got an action episode and we do need to figure out what is happening. So next episode is probably just going to be a bunch of talking, like always. Thank you for listening and watching my video. Go give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.